Welcome to Live Devotions. I'm Robert Bosbach. You know, just before Jesus was about to go to the cross, he said to his disciples, I don't have too much time to speak with you anymore, for the prince, speaking about the devil, of this world is coming for me, but he has nothing in me. And then he says something most phenomenal. He says, my peace I give unto you. Not such peace as the world gives, which the world always thinks that the absence of pressure is the right kind of peace. He says, no, I give you my peace. What peace? The peace that Jesus is enjoying with the Father at his right hand. The sweetness of God's favor. The sweetness of God's love in his heart. The sweetness of God's word coming to pass in his life. The sweetness of being in the perfect will of God and knowing the creator of heaven and earth is on your side, is for you. Friends, that's a peace that surpasses understanding. That's a peace that will rule in the midst of a storm. Like Jesus, remember, he said to his disciples, let's go across. And while they were going across, he fell asleep because of all the busyness. And a great storm came. And the storm was so violent that the water came in the ship. And these well-proven fishermen, men that were on the sea every night, became afraid. So it must have been quite a serious storm. And they woke up Jesus in panic and said, don't you care that we are perishing? And Jesus stood up and he said to the wind, be still. And to the sea, be calm. And instantly it obeyed. And he looked at his disciples and he says, Oh, you of little faith. Friends, the kind of faith that Jesus wants to give you gives you such peace that in the middle of the storm, you can stay in command. You can stay in a place where you know God is in charge. Jesus is at the throne of God. He hasn't become helpless, so you're not hopeless. He's a well-proven help in our times of trouble. So I want to encourage you with this peace. Do not be anxious for anything, but make your requests known to God. And his peace will begin to guard your heart and your mind as you keep your mind upon him. I want to encourage you today. Don't allow yourself to be pressed and pushed and driven by the circumstances of life that only will choke out the word of God. But allow your heart to stay steady and at rest. When the pressure comes in on you, say, Lord, I know you're in control of my life. I trust you. You will enable me to deal with this. You'll guide me through this. You'll provide for me in this. Stay at rest. You know, sometimes it seems like the Lord comes right at that last moment. And perhaps one of the great reasons why that is so is so that you will know the Lord did it. It wasn't just coincidence. It was God who's in control of the situation. You know, the Bible says in Psalm 50, verse 15, what is it that the Lord requires of you? But that you trust him in the time of your trouble so that he can help you and you can give him the glory for it. I want to pray with you, believe with you, that God will guard your heart and mind to stay at rest and stay at peace, to know he's in control. and He is leading you through this. Let me leave you with this one scripture before we pray. It's Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2. You will know that it is the Lord your God who led you all the way to test your heart, to see whether or not you would do what he said. Now, trust God that he's leading you. Stay in obedience to his spirit. and He will see you through. Heavenly Father, I pray that your grace and peace comes upon my dear friend that there will be such a calmness in the middle of whatever my friends are going through, that they will know that you're guarding their heart and mind, that you're seeing them through, that you're in control of the situation. And I thank you, Father, that we will not miss out on any of the good things you prepared for us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.